Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and I have an awesome video for you guys today. First, a quick disclaimer. So we're going up to do spins. This is not something I want you to go out and try by yourself. Truthfully, it's not something I want you to go out and try even with just any old CFI. Here's the scoop. You are not legally required to do a spin, perform a spin, until you want to become a CFI. You can go private, instrument, commercial, never have to do a spin until you want to become a CFI. I know a handful of CFIs out there, and I'll raise my hand because I used to be one of those CFIs, that the last time they did a spin was to earn that spin endorsement to become a CFI. So when you do decide to go out and practice spins, and I encourage you and I challenge you to, please find a CFI that is spin current and spin proficient. Because as you're gonna see, there's a lot more that goes into this. We're not just gonna go head up to the cockpit and do spins now. Really, spin training for me starts on the ground. It starts with doing a proper weight and balance because we need to be in the utility category. So I'm figuring out my weight. I went flying the day before and I burned off a ton of fuel so we could fit into that utility category and have everything a-okay. My pre-flight really goes beyond that pre-flight because I'm getting rid of anything loose. You guys know I, I kind of over-prepare for some things. I've got three quarts of oil in the airplane. I've got my toolkit in the airplane. I have all these things I normally fly with, but I don't need anything loose flying around, or, nor do I need the added weight, especially the aft weight. So let's take all that stuff out. I really only want to fly with what's necessary to be legal. That's all I want to fly with. And the last thing is we need to review our spin recovery procedure because it's one thing to just show you a video on spins, but nobody cares how you spin. They care how you recover from a spin. And that's what we're gonna show today. And my good friend and designated pilot examiner, Chuck Brown shared this with me. It's the PAR acronym, P-A-R-E. It stands for power back, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite the spin, and elevator down. And the elevator down part is sometimes the hardest part to do because you're looking at the ground. How could I possibly push the elevator forward more? But you have to think, I'm in an aggravated stall. One wing is stalled more than the other, and that's what's causing this spin. I have to break the spin. I have to break the stall. I have to get the airplane flying again. You'll see it as we cut to the cockpit, P-A-R-E. That's the acronym we're gonna work through. So now that that's all complete, guys, let's go ahead and head to the cockpit. All right, guys, we're up in the cockpit now. Pre-maneuver checklist is done, and pre-maneuver checklist as well is a little different. It's more than just my fuel cycle valve on both, mixture rich, everything looks good here. Did my clearing turns. My clearing turns also consist of looking straight down as to where I'm going and where I'm going to be spinning towards as well. Little things like that to watch and think about. Everything's all set with that. We're good to go with everything. Let's go ahead and rock and roll with it. I'm going to do it just like we did a few, well, not even a month ago, with our turning stall video. I'm going to start it just like that. Let's go into a power on turning stall. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to pitch the nose up. I'm going to leave the power kind of where it's at here. And I'm going to do a turn to the right here. And we're going to go up, up, up. And we're pitching back. You can hear us getting slower and slower. There's the stall warning horn. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. There it goes, power back. Let her go. Aileron's neutral. Rudder opposite. Elevator down. And recover. Just like that. Bring her back up, and she's flying again. Not too shabby, huh? I'm going to get some power in here now, get this airplane flying again. And I'm going to go ahead and climb back up now to 7,000 feet. And I'm going to go ahead and show you another one and talk you through it in a little bit greater detail. Welcome back to 7,000 feet. Let's go ahead and give it another try. Running through that par, power back, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite, elevator down acronym for our spin recovery. Same kind of procedure, guys. Let's use that power on turn install as an example. Clearing turns already complete. Check down one more time. Everything looks good. Pitching us up. 
starting a little bit of a turn here. Everything's looking good. We're just climbing out here. Didn't realize we had a little bit of a right turn in there. And here it comes. And power back, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite, elevator down. And slowly bring it back up as you can feel those G's and that airspeed increases. And that's all broken. We're flying again. I'm giving it some power. Spins! They're not required to do until you actually want to become a flight instructor. Kinda, kinda crazy, I think. I encourage you, I challenge you, I do want you to practice spins, but I want you to practice them with a CFI who he himself or herself is current in spins as well. So listen guys, any comments you guys have, leave me a comment below this video on m0a.com. You know you'll get a response from me. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Pass your check ride, or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.